Hey friends, how's it going? Ash here with Jensen. So I think you guys are doing really well. Today I want to talk to you guys about some fragrances that are not going to break the bank. They're affordable. And they're going to smell awesome in the high heat. So we're talking, depending on where you live, spring through summertime, early fall also, these ones are going to be able to get the job done. Each one of these you can pick up for around $40 or so US or less. Some of them quite a bit less, but that's assuming as always, that you're shopping at a discounter. So of course we're talking Fragrance Net, Fragrance Buy, Joma Shop, wherever you typically shop those discounters. I'm gonna have each one of these fragrances linked in the description below. Let's go ahead and jump into it and check out some awesome summertime cheapies. And I mentioned Joma Shop before guys, if you shop at Joma Shop, use that code GENTS8 Save yourself $8 off any order over 110. They're coming pretty hard into the uh, fragrance discounter space. They're trying to like fill in that spot that Notino left so long ago. Rest in peace, Notino in the United States. F in the chat, pour one out for Notino, which used to be known as Beauty Spin until Chanel sued them into the center of the earth. Well, let's go ahead and kick it off with a fragrance that I've spoken about a number of times. Some of these I haven't talked about that much. Some of them I have. This one is definitely one that I have. It's Azaro Chrome Extreme. The Azaro Chrome line has a lot of fragrances that you can pick up for cheap at discounters, and a lot of them actually would work really well in high heat situations. This one probably is going to appeal to the most people out there because it's got kind of a similarity to Aqua de Gil Profundo, only this is way cheaper than that. So Chrome Extreme, gonna give you kind of an aquatic feel. You have citrus in here, a decent amount of sweetness, but not overloaded, not heavy handed to the point that it becomes cloying. Very versatile, compliment pulling. The quality here, very good for the price. Azaro Chrome Extreme has a lot of things to love. So we'll kick it off with Chrome Extreme, keeping in mind that you may also wanna check out Chrome Aqua or some of the earlier Chrome flankers. Like I said before, they're all pretty cheap. Now, something I've not talked about here quite so much is from Ferragamo, and it is Free Time. Free Time is a fragrance a lot of people don't know about. It's super cheap, one of the cheapest fragrances in this whole list here today. I will say it's not the type of fragrance that a lot of people are gonna probably fall head over heels in love with. This is more the type of scent that you pick up for next to nothing. You can wear it anytime, any place, and it's gonna work well. People, for the most part, are always gonna think it smells pleasant, think it smells very nice, easy to wear, kind of a great casual scent, gym scent, but it's not quite unique enough to stand alone in a lot of people's minds. So that's gonna be kind of the weak point here. It's got a lot of lemony freshness. You've got a, a bit of fresh spiciness in here. Again, a little bit of an aquatic uh, freshness as well. Free time, super easy to pull off, under the radar. The type of fragrance that everybody's gonna like, but maybe not a ton of people will fall in love with, as I said before. Absolutely worth checking out though, as a, a great, grab and go kind of scent that you don't have to think about that costs nothing. Let's do another cheapy. Well, they're all cheapies, but another really cheapy. Jimmy Choo Man. This one's more well known than Free Time. And this one is probably gonna come across to people as more modern than Free Time. Not that Free Time smells dated, but it is more of that lemony freshness that you're gonna pick up there. Whereas this one feels more like a, a full bodied take on a Blue de Chanel type scent. I say full bodied, I mean that it has a little bit more going on than free time when I say that. The performance in Jimmy Two Man could be a bit better, but the presentation is nice and for the price, it's a great buy. The atomizer here, very good. It's got a pressurized atomizer. As you can see right there, right in my eyeballs. Ultra versatile, a nice compliment pulling fragrance, and it's gonna scratch that blue fragrance itch that a lot of guys have for a very low price. So Jimmy Choo Man worth checking out. And for that matter, uh, most of the Jimmy Choo Man line, you can get pretty cheap. So you can check out the whole line if you wanted, not spend that much. Now let me throw a clone in here just for funsies. It's Laventure from All Haramein. This is a clone of Creed's Aventus. A little bit fresher than Club de Nuit Intense Man, which is the most popular of the Aventus clones. That one, a little bit heavier, a bit darker, and the opening harsher in Club de Nuit Intense Man. The opening here, a little bit fruitier, a little bit fresher, and not quite as chemically smelling. It does not have as much heft to it, not as much push, not as much punch. 
as Club de Nuit Intense Man does, but quality wise, it's right up there with Club de Nuit Intense Man. A lot of people would argue that it's actually better quality than Club de Nuit Intense and the price here, very low. So if you're looking for an Aventus alternative and you don't want it to come across quite as smoky, you want a little more fruitiness to it, check that one out. Then a classic, it's Versace Pour Ohm. Or if you look on FragranceNet, they have it listed as Versace Signature. Yeah, just Versace Pour Ohm. As I've mentioned, and everybody under the sun has mentioned, Versace Pour Ohm has a similarity to Chanel Allure Ohm Sport, but this one does come across as the fresher fragrance of the two, whereas Chanel Allure Ohm Sport is a little bit creamier, a little bit denser, a little bit heavier. This one is lighter, this one is fresher, and it has more of a floral nuance popping through. This is a great everyday wear kind of fragrance that you can spray and go anywhere, anytime, any place in the high heat months, and it's gonna work. I actually have worn this to the office countless times. It was one of my staples. Really love it. Versace Pour Homme, still standing the test of time. Now let's go with uh, this one from Penguin, Premium Blend. Now for what it's worth, uh, which frankly is, is not much, but for what it's worth, Premium Blend, is from the higher end line of fragrances that Penguin put out. Uh, that said, everything that Penguin has put out is cheap. So yeah, it's the higher end of the cheap fragrances from a cheap fragrance brand. But the bottle is pretty nice. I mean, it's really heavy. It's got quite a, a good amount of weight to it. It looks nice. It has this frosted glass kind of detailing, a rubberized cap. So at least with this one and this line from Penguin, it looks a little bit nicer. It feels a little bit nicer, a little bit more premium. Whereas some of their other fragrances that they put out, uh, frankly, look and feel like crap. So this one, really easy to pull off, pretty simple, a little bit aromatic, fresh, clean. And I think actually a, a wide age range of people could pull this off. Younger guys easily can pull this off, but it doesn't come across too youthful. So older guys can wear this just as well. And I would say that uh, if you're gonna look at Penguin fragrances at all, that this line is probably where you wanna start, their blend line. And as far as summertime scents go in that line, premium blend is definitely the way to go. Now a fragrance that is actually more intriguing to me now than when I first got it. It's from Lacoste and it is Loam Timeless. Now Lacoste Loam, when it first broke on the scene, it got a pretty good amount of love for being a cheap fragrance because the quality is really nice and the price is low. Then Lacoste Loam Intense came out and people like that one even more, like an improvement over the original while keeping that low price tag. And then in 2019, I think, Lacoste Loam Timeless came out and uh, nobody cared. Yeah, nobody, nobody really seemed to care at all. And I as well just kind of thought, well, you know, Timeless is not bad, but Lacoste Loam Intense, that's the best of the bunch. So, nah, whatever, you know, just kind of sat it to the side. Revisited this here lately, and uh, I gotta say, it's actually really nice. It makes use of rhubarb, which is one of my favorite underutilized notes. It smells great here. It's got a little bit of a tea vibe as well, kind of a, a tea undertone. It's very fresh. It's got hints of sweetness throughout. The quality really good, especially for the price. I think right now at uh, FragranceNet, as of this video, I mean, in the future, who knows what the price is gonna be, but uh, as of this video, I think it's around $25 or something. And as far as what you're getting here, for that price point, it's a steal. This stuff is really, really nice. And the bottle, even though it's simple, it looks a little bit classier, I think, here. And after revisiting this one, I, I think, you know, it's right up there with Lacoste Loam Intense. Kind of overlooked this a little bit. All right, next up a scent that I uh, don't love, but as far as being a cheap fragrance that's gonna work really well in high heat situations, I gotta give it its props. It's from Dolce & Gabbana. It's light blue sun. Now to be fair to sun, I do like light blue sun more than Italian zest. I like light blue sun more than love is love. I like it more than some of the other earlier flankers, but I don't think that sun is as good as, at least for me personally, oh intense. Uh, forever and Italian love. But a lot of that is gonna be just on how you like your citrus. 
right? So light blue forever and light blue Italian love, the citrus in there is more of that rindy, semi-naturalistic citrus where you've got this tartness, this bitterness that's mixing together with sweetness. Some people really like that, like me. Other people don't. Other people think that that sucks and that's say, okay, if you don't like that kind of citrus, that's cool. Then light blue sun probably would be more your style because light blue sun is that citrus where it's more very bright and fresh and sweet. And it, it doesn't really focus very much on that rindiness or that tartness. And to be fair, once again, to sun, as far as just ease of use, like the type of fragrance that you spray it on, you don't think about it, you just go. Sun is gonna work better probably for people than forever because forever does have that rindiness, that sour, that tartness, that bitterness that some people just can't jive with. So overall, you're talking late spring, summer, early fall, you just want a really nice citrus scent that people are gonna enjoy. You don't wanna spend that much money and you prefer it to be from a brand that people know, a fragrance line that people know. Light Blue Sun is gonna knock that out of the park. Now one from Calvin Klein, it is Eternity for Men Cologne. Calvin Klein's been coming out with a lot of different takes on eternity here lately, you know, modernizations, different ideas, different vibes of eternity. And this is one of those. Of course, with the name like Cologne and this coloration here, you know it's made for summer, spring and summer. And it does that really well. It's got a little more sweetness in here. It is, of course, like I said, modernized as compared to the original Eternity. So it doesn't have much of that throwback feel to it here. Actually, you'll find a more of a throwback feel in the uh, Eternity Eau de Parfum than you will here. Eternity for men, cologne, uh, a little bit green, watery, sweet, easy to wear, easy to pull off, doesn't smell uh, old, doesn't smell dated, as I mentioned. And even though this is fairly new, you can get it for a really low price. I think I saw this one in the low 20s. Don't hold me to that, but I think that's what I found it for. And at that price, it's a great buy. Really, really good. I bought it at full retail. At full retail, mm, mm, not so good. When you knock that price down like 75%, ah, that looks a lot better. And last but not least, Pepe Jeans for him. And this is just the... Uh, the first one, at least the uh, first one in this line, in their little shaker line. Now you could also go with Pepe Jean's Cocktail Edition, but that one's not in stock quite as often. That one gets in stock, sells out, gets in stock, sells out. And that one's gonna be more of a citrus forward fragrance, really concentrating on citrus, especially yuzu. And I do like that one quite a lot. This one has a little more depth to it. It's got a little more projection, a little bit more longevity as compared to the uh, Cocktail Edition. Essentially, this one is always on sale, and then they have a limited edition each year, which sometimes they're easier to find than others. So that's the deal with this line, this house. But this one is gonna give you more of a slightly Invictus style. It's gonna give you that bit of bubblegummy sweetness, but it's still quite fresh. Nice compliment puller, easy to wear, very inexpensive, obviously with it being in this list, and it is one of the cheaper ones in this list. If you buy a tester, I think you can get it close to just 20. But especially for younger guys, really nice fragrance for pulling attention and for uh, having something that's very versatile, easy to wear, that's gonna cost you nothing. Although for me personally, just telling you guys which ones I would rather have, as far as the Pepe Jeans line goes, I think for summer, the cocktail edition is a little bit nicer. It doesn't have as much performance, as I said before, uh, but the citrus in it's really nice. And I'm not a huge fan of Invictus type stuff myself, but Pepe Jeans is a good Invictus style, if you want to call it that. It's like a, it's not overly done. And then my absolute favorite is Pepe Jeans Black Is Now. So if you can find Pepe Jeans Black Is Now for a good price, you should check that one out. All right, guys, there we go. 10 fragrances, really cheap, not going to break the bank that smell awesome in high heat. As always, I want to thank you guys for hanging with me till the end here. Stay safe out there, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.